there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. I've got a game for you today. It's Street Fighter. We've got some fun to play. Let's beat the crap out of things. But we can't do it just yet because this beta, this demo, this game we're going to play isn't available for another day and you can get a copy of it yourself and we can all play together. So we can all try out the Capcom Fighting Network beta that's available for Street Fighter V. Here's how you get it. You just go to PlayStation Store. You go down. You go down. You go way, way down. Yeah, thanks. It would be good if you actually could keep up with me here, game. Come on. Go down to free. Go to free to play. And there it is. <laughs> it's easy enough to grab. Pull down a copy of it. Have it ready because this is our preload opportunity before the servers go live on May 11th. They're going to stay open from May 11th to May 14th and give us access to online functionality to play against each other. The only thing that you require to be able to play it is a PS Plus account. That's... Not a deal breaker for a lot of people. If you're online and you're playing into the PlayStation Store, you're probably on your PlayStation account. Like, you can get on to play and do this stuff. So, I wouldn't go to PS Plus just for that. In fact, the games this month are not mm, brilliant on PS Plus. But if you're already a PS Plus member, why the hell aren't you playing Street Fighter V if you don't already own it? <laughs> so, I'm looking forward to trying this out. There's going to be a lot of people who play Street Fighter V regularly playing this demo. So, it's not going to be just, like, the people who have never played the game before. Because this is a bunch of beta test for changes that are going to be into the online competitive environment of Street Fighter. So expect to get your ass beat a little bit, but it's it's it's, it's worth taking a wee look and see and uh, trying out the characters and uh, having a little bit of a good time. So uh, we're going to jump in and take a look at the menu screens that are in here. Uh, ba -ba, message log there. Obviously, I've logged in the game. You can't actually get into the game completely properly yet because the servers are still down. They won't be up for another 24 hours or so so essentially you have to actually just make do having a happy looking menu screen for you but what we can do is take a look at the things they're going to be adding to the cfn so new features being added to the capcom fighters network cfn friends a block list very useful a timeline uh the timeline obviously being all the events matches uh replays uh confirmations of details of people unlocking things that'll be coming up as a ticker tape underneath uh updates to battle lounge invitations expand player profile rankings by league uh cfn friends send a cfn friend request from the fighter profile sub menu you will become cfn friends it is accepted by the other player which is useful because i don't know if street Fighter Five does cross play is there a cross play between pc and ps4 i kind of doubt it but being able to connect to other capcom fighters without having to have their playstation network id I think it might be one of those things where you can connect and follow them. Uh, I'm, I think it's going to actually give a functionality for you to follow people rather than actually having to have a mutual friend-friend relationship. Uh, there's, of course, a blacklist for getting rid of people that you want, just won't want to ever see again. Timeline. Uh, oh, does it actually give any details for the timeline? No, it just literally says timeline. Uh, battle Lounge and Invitations. You can now filter CFN friends while when making Battle Lounge Invitations. Uh, fighter Profile Expansions. Fighter Profile now show more information. Discipline displays the fight money and battle account. Respect displays the number of fighter profiles and replays viewed. So it's kind of like, a, it's showing, if you watch a guy who watches replays a lot and he's ranked high, you kind of just assume like, wow, this guy is, he's, he's practicing technique, he's watching, he's actually doing his research. You might not want to fuck with him. Um, I'm assuming those details are kind of like, that's that's little bits and pieces that would psychologically give you a bit of an edge whenever you're going into a fight with somebody rather than just knowing their level, you know. Um, in addition to players' overall rank, you can also view rankings for each league from league points by league, which is also useful. So yeah, that's all the functionality that's being added to the Capcom Fighters Network. I would love to get in there right now and just start beating ass, but I obviously can't because the servers are not available. But we'll take a quick look at the battle settings because... Uh, Character profiles, just basic information. I don't think anything here is different from what I know of. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's anything. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure. I remember the profile links looking very similar, but there's nothing really there to see uh, because we can't log in and get details. Obviously, I'll try to log in just to show you what the main new screen looks like the and the, like, the error message that you're going to see until the servers go live. But I'm excited. I'm looking forward to playing uh, Street Fighter V. I, I'm, I've been a Street Fighter fan since Street Fighter 1 in the arcades, actually, because I played on a pressure button Street Fighter machine that was in the back end of an arcade somewhere outside. Oh, it was a Port Rush or Port Stewart. It was weird. I essentially got to play the arcade machine once, like the old one, and then years and years later, uh, 
I pretty much, I don't know, of course I got my ass beat. I wasn't going to make any, I wasn't going to do any success in, but I probably spent an entire couple, like an entire Christmas, I think, uh, Super Nintendo playing Street Fighter 2. It was my jam for a long time. Street Fighter 3, I enjoyed Street Fighter Alpha. It was a great series. Street Fighter 4, I picked up, played, enjoyed, but then that was kind of like my end of my fighting era <laughs> games. I just stopped playing them quite as much. Uh, I didn't come in for Street Fighter V because of the fact that I just didn't... There was no story mode whenever it first came out. And then by the time it went along, I was doing this kind of stuff, making videos about games. I just didn't have the time to go back and play something from a year previous that I wasn't really going to get around to. So, yeah. We, um... I, I, I'm looking forward to playing this tomorrow. I'm looking forward to actually getting into it. I want to get back with Ryu and Ken. I want to try some of the new characters. I want to see what the gameplay is like. If you want to know more about fighting games, I recommend going over to Maximilian Dude's page and just binging like a motherfucker. Uh, he's got a lot of information. I don't know if it's actually going to be applicable to anybody who's just starting off in fighter games, but you'll get an idea of what Street Fighter V is all about. Even though he's not a fan himself, he's actually come out quite recently saying that he's actually not a massive fan of the Street Fighter V games. He has covered it quite a lot over the release and the early beginnings of it. So yeah, CFN comes out tomorrow on May 11th. Make sure to get online and grab yourself a copy of the actual beta and get yourselves into the game and I will see you in there. Of course, you can always try and get me online. You can just grab Pastiche of Durham UK, which is my main gaming account for PlayStation Network. You can always challenge me on that. If you don't do that, you can always just subscribe, check out the channel. Uh, you can always watch me because I'll be playing a few matches live on stream probably in the morning tomorrow before I actually head on to do other stuff. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you actually enjoy me talking about uh, the, this bit of information about the Street Fighter V beta that's coming out, you can of course hit the subscribe button way up here at the top. Uh, you can also hit the follow button or the like button or the thumbs up or whatever it is mattering on whatever stream or whatever source that you're actually checking this out on. And of course you can just follow me on Passage of Skin. Just go to Google, type that in. It's not exactly hard to find me, I'm not trying to hide. And if you're watching this on YouTube after we've actually put it up online, up here on the side over here, there's going to be three videos. One of them's going to be a playlist of actual stuff that I've posted up in a similar vein, almost like news typey stuff that I've done. And the other two next to it are going to be a recent video that's gone up onto the channel and a video that's recommended just for you based on your Google Analytics and your way of watching YouTube. If you're actually logged into your account, it'll pick a video out of my channel specifically for you to enjoy. So I hope you do. Again, guys, I'll see all of you dudes in the next video. Bye.